Now I'm gonna hand it over to Sachin Gupta, VP GM for infrastructure and longtime friend to talk about how we're extending these innovations to your dedicated environments. Great Thanks, to see Jeff. you, friend. It's great to be here in person, and it's great to see you all. Our goal in Google Cloud is to meet you where you are in your digital transformation. We understand some of your workloads cannot move to the public cloud entirely due to various factors, such as high amounts of local data processing, low latency requirements, or strict data security and privacy requirements. But as you heard yesterday from Thomas, we're working to help you solve some of these constraints. With the announcement of Google Distributed Cloud, we are extending our infrastructure to the edge and to your own data centers. This announcement allows you to further digitize your business applications by ensuring they have the speed, intelligence, and processing power in managed heterogeneous environments. And we're approaching this from a differentiated standpoint relative to other cloud providers. First, we bring Google's AI and analytics solutions closer to where the data is being generated and consumed to harness real-time insights. Second, Google Distributed Cloud is enabled by Anthos. It helps you to build and run applications on GKE clusters and virtual machines anywhere with a cloud-backed control plane for consistent management at scale. And third, our planet scale infrastructure delivers the highest level of performance and availability on the most secure and sustainable platform. Google Distributed Cloud is a fully managed integrated hardware and software solution, meaning you don't have to worry about the underlying infrastructure and can focus on your applications and business initiatives. We aim to simplify operations, leveraging Google's expertise and track record in areas like scale deployment, fleet management, and site reliability engineering. This allows you to focus on your business priorities and leave the complexities to us. Google Distributed Cloud is designed for running sensitive workloads that meet sovereignty requirements and offers private 5G LT solutions for enterprise customers. There are four deployment scenarios depending on the customer's need. The Google Network Edge, the Operator Edge, the Customer Edge, and Customer Data Centers. The first use case I'll talk through is at Google's Network Edge, which is designed for single and multi-tenant use cases, leveraging over 140 Google Network Edge locations worldwide. Next is the Operator Edge. This is owned by communication service providers for both single and multi-tenant cloud use cases. As I mentioned before, you'll benefit from 5G LTE services provided by our operator partners. It can accommodate emerging services and applications with stringent latency and reliability requirements. For example, online games and game streaming depend on low latency to preserve the end user experience. Then we have the enterprise customer edge. These are customer-owned edge locations such as retail stores, factory floors, or branch offices, which require localized compute and processing directly in these edge locations. Next, the customer data centers are customer-owned facilities or colo facilities and are set up for single and multi-tenant hybrid scenarios. It's also ideal for lifecycle management of virtual network functions for communication service providers that reside on-premises, such as cloud-native build-out of private 5G networks. Google Distributed Cloud also includes a hosted mode to run sensitive workloads. Hosted mode helps you meet sovereignty needs by addressing data residency with strict security and privacy requirements, all while providing you with a way to modernize on-premise deployments. Customers can manage this directly or host through a designated and trusted partner. The good news is that hosted mode does not require connectivity to Google Cloud at any time to manage infrastructure and uses a local control plane for operations. Upgrades and patches are offered by Google and verified by the trusted partner. To learn more about how customers are leveraging Google's distributed cloud, I'd like to welcome Rasish Patel, Chief Product and Platform Officer, AT&T. Rasish, welcome to Next. Thanks, Sachin. It's so good to be here with you today. Rasish, why don't we dig right in and have you tell us about how you're looking to leverage Google's distributed cloud for your edge and computing needs. You bet. I'd start with saying AT&T and Google have similar goals when it comes to edge compute. We both want our business customers to build and run modern applications close to their end users. 
By moving compute workloads closer to the user, we can reduce latency to levels that will allow for a whole new range of mobile experiences that weren't possible before. Sometimes this compute will be on the network edge, sometimes it will be at the customer premise. But regardless of where the compute workloads occur, this is not something AT&T is going to do alone. That is tremendous. It is really fascinating how communications has been able to influence business revolution, and it looks like you are poised to do it all over again. So what kind of new business outcomes do you think we can bring together with 5G and Edge? You're absolutely right, Sachin. Our goal is to create net new business services and customer experiences. Let me give you some industry examples. In retail, services including streamlining automated inventory management, predicting and managing queues, even enabling cashierless checkout options will come to life. In healthcare, we see secure multi-gig connectivity for all devices within a hospital. The advent of remote patient diagnostics and care in rapid data transfer between field-based emergency medical services like an ambulance and hospitals. And in the entertainment industry, we're enhancing in-venue experiences for concerts and sporting events with solutions ranging from immersive AR and VR experiences, smart parking, ticketless entry, to contactless food and souvenir payment. Last question, what are your goals for AT&T and Google partnership in the next three to five years? Well, our work together brings market transformative capabilities to businesses across many industries. 5G and fiber-based edge connectivity and compute with Google's powerful ecosystem that includes maps, voice recognition, AI, Android, and many other capabilities enables the development of these next-gen experiences in an accelerated time to market. And we're looking forward to a lot of expansion. We're bringing our network-based solution with Google Cloud to over 15 major markets in the next several years. We have plans to roll out the services in major metro markets, including Chicago, Atlanta, Dallas, Miami, San Francisco, and many more. So stay tuned. Thank you for joining us, Rasish, and we look forward to continued success and delivering joint value to our mutual customers. Thank you again, Rasish. Thanks for having me.